Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Monsieur Mokolover. And right now, we... Actually, we, we were just caught trying to justify in Colombia. No, Ecuador. Ecuador, of all places. Because I figured, you know what? They're not doing so well. They got a few uh, dudes down here that are all different ideologies that really doesn't like the current government, in which they are currently liberals. So they got anarcho liberals, they got that F word group ideology there, and socialists. And you know what? I decided I got like 0.5 more infamy just because I decided, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of save scumming. But, anyways, we are still working on trying to pay down our debt to build the Panama Canal. It's already 1911. Great year, great year, because a certain gun came out. But, anyways, uh, yeah. We go to war for Ecuadorian. Pastaza. And kaboom! A fire at the Cartagena, the India's explosives warehouse, has caused a massive blast that some could say or could be heard all the way to Segu. The devastation is massive and hundreds of lives in the vicinity are reported lost. As the fire spreads throughout the city, the fire department needs to be prioritized. The fire threatens to spread north to the affluent Cartagena de uh, India's neighborhood and south to poor areas. Where to? Let's no see. I want to make no distinction of class. Whoever we can rescue is whoever we can rescue. There is no distinction here. Until I actually say so. Uh, let's see. Off screen, Bolivia tried to rebel against us. And, well, they weren't very successful with that. So I put them back down under us. Just, oh my gosh, Argentina. Yeah, I, for, uh, for the future, I think I if this happens again, I think I'm just going to just straight up annex portions of Argentina. Because they got so many rebellions. And it's not cool dealing with all these rebellions. Also, uh, a couple techs. Let's see. We've gotten, what was it, Army NCO training, so that's pretty good. Let's see, nothing really done here. We've got screw-propelled steamers, of course. No steel steamers yet. We'll get there eventually, though. We're doing class late classical theory. I made sure we got social alienation for plus 20% education efficiency, as well as 5% more colonial migration. And not too much else really here either, so. And 63% of our population can currently read. What am I doing? we got to get this. Oh, we have a lot of debt. Whatever, it's only debt. Actually, you know what, just raise it up a little bit higher. We don't need that much right now. Give it one month and then we'll go ahead and do it. And we also have some militant social troubles here too as well. So, Just just Victoria 2 things. Just Tukular Empire things. Oh, uh, a couple comments. Make sure you get all reforms by the end of the game. We'll try that. We'll definitely try to get that. So we'll see what happens. Ooh. It was recommended though that we should try to... Ooh, three, four... Let's get to who's our first... Get all of Africa underneath us, or at least eliminate as much influence as possible, or European influence. So I'm totally cool with that. Someone recommended one of my actually one of my mods on my Discord server recommended I take Egypt. Not a bad idea. I probably I probably will. But the problem with taking out Egypt is that they're allied with the Ottoman Empire, and the Ottomans are allied with Germany and the UK. If it was just one of these two, then I'd say maybe. But since it's both the UK and Germany with the Ottoman Empire, that's a bit extreme in my mind. I can't deal with that. So, eventually. Oh my goodness. Of course. Yeah, South America is just a hotbed, hotbed, hotbed of communists and just a bunch of rebels. Why can't you just be stable, South America? Please. Please. Actually, where is this group going? That's fine. Cool. Give it one month so we can get the lower infamy, which would be good. And we're going to continue building up a massive military because late game wars are going to need it. Cool. Let's go ahead and go to war. Hopefully no one goes fights us as well. I'm not sure where this is. It's probably going to be very ugly for this. Oh, it's actually over here. Oh, that actually makes it great. Awesome. Go ahead into the mountains. Good luck. I don't think anyone will interfere in this war just because they don't. no one has a lot of influence maybe except for us. And even Peru is not looking good down to here too, so... Hopefully no one intervenes. And we shouldn't need too much since they literally have no score, so. Wealth-based voting suffrage in the Tukular Empire is directly based on the ownership of wealth and prosperity. Or property. The fundamental principle is that only those who contribute to the common good should have a say in how that public good is managed and administered. One interesting consequence of the system has surfaced in one of its or states where several local merchants and traders from the middle classes have started enough earning enough to be allowed representation. Adjusting the rules will be seen as an adjustment to exclude certain, certain social classes and will not be appreciated by the richer classes. Disenfranchising the newly enfranchised middle class classes risks a sharp rise in local militancy. Adjust the rules? So it would piss people off anyways. Let's not adjust the rules because why should lower classes be able to say or be able to take the wealth away from the other people up above them? Because they can and we want that social reform. That's why. 
I do want to get through some of these as well, just because they're so quick to get. Less than 3,500 points, why not, you know? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Why not? Psychic type. Cool. Uh, trust the Parliament, and it seems altogether pleasing. Uh, we've heard this before, this is about just excellent militancy. Let's see, less militancy, because the socials did rise up, and I did have to crush them very violently. But it is what it is. Just constantly dead, that's all. Actually, do we have anyone else that... I'm looking for any rubbles. Oh, also down here... Uh, that's a lot of socialists in this French part of French Ivory Coast. No rubbles down here? Good. And also, Greece is now in the sphere of the Ottomans. Hey, look at that. You see a, a slight blue sliver? We got some Fulba here. Very nice. Bantoy, huh? We need to go to war with these guys, but they're also in Germany's sphere, which is disappointing. And we're still allied with the America. The America? The USA. Well, never mind. We were. Okay, I'm alone. Mm. They're already out. Oh, they broke their alliance with the... No, maybe they did. Does anyone want to be allies? UK, would you like to be allies? Oh, we're at war, so no one wants to be our allies, which sucks. No one likes us. Why? Just because we're an African great power? Jeez, guys. Gosh. Now I really don't want to attack into the mountains. Ooh. Oh! Oh! So they just gave in to the anarcho-liberal demands. Alright, well. Anarcho-liberalism? Also known as anarcho-capitalism, I think. Alright, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You should be able to do okay. You have almost five times the amount of... Oh. Eastern Macedonia. Oh, Greece acquires that from the Ottoman Empire. I kind of like that, actually. I will interfere if, maybe, because I do want to get into a great war, and I want to cut down Germany. Germany's just too strong. But then, if we go to war with Germany, I want to ally with the UK to take them down. Or if we go to the war with the UK, I want to ally with Germany so they can stomp each other out. Both these nations have to die. Both of them, they're just too strong. And that'll open up a huge mess of what could happen. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Indirect artillery fire, that'd be pretty good. Helmet production would be good, or mass production, really. Let's grab more digging cap, too, just because defense is just so important here. God, I wonder when we'll get the Panama Canal done, though. And, like normal, let's see, you're looking pretty good. You're looking not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. Keep getting them bureaucrats, sons. Sabotage. Less socialist. Do not profit during at least fat cats, why not? Stupid fat cats. Always blaming the workers. Actually, suppression? I love suppression. Movements. Let's see, let's go to the highest one. Suffrage? Nah, they don't need suffrage. Old age security? Eh, I don't want them to become radical because I don't really care about old age pension stuff. Subsidies, political representation, safe work. Yes, safe working conditions, I can do that. Ah, screw it, let's go do this anyways. Social reforms. Oh, wait, what is all. What do we have here? Discriminatory. Oh, that's fine. Discriminatory school systems. And there's not discrimination. What's the point of it? <laughs> God. Panama Canal. We spent way too much money on this. But hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. Infamy's not looking too bad. Oh. Argentina, believe it. Always have rebels. Always have problems. Why can't you just be... Oh my god! Can't you just be normal? Yeah. Like I said before. Whenever I come back and play HPM, if this happens... It it doesn't mean it's just Argentina, but it's also probably like Brazil when I play as Brazil. Uh, just Jesus Christ. Yeah, these people are going to need Jesus Christ when we're done here. Yeah, just take them over. Like, if they want to rebel, give them an iron fist. Make sure they don't ever rebel again. Oh my gosh. Is it even worth it at this point with all these rebels? Holy crap. Well, Ecuador... They're a bourgeois dictatorship. Wait. Anarcho liberals, bourgeois dictatorship. Uh, yeah. ooh. You know, I want, I want to get involved. I do. I don't like the French that much. I don't care about the Austro Hungarians, and I don't care about the English that much. I do want to see them taken apart. But beating down the Germans and the Ottomans sounds like a good idea to me. Nice. Actually, that's not too bad. Look at that. It's not too bad. Very good. All right, I'm gonna have you guys come over here, and you guys are set on rebels, rebels. You might do okay, you might not. All right, so you are looking pretty good. 
except that you need to get rid of your engineer. Hmm. No, oh, he's not. It's not a perfect armor there. Oh wait, North Andean Guard is that? It's not a core culture of us. What? Hold on. Hmm. No, I'm not seeing North Andean Guard. But all right. And with what little money we have, can we actually open up the factory? Kind of. But we also have debt, so that's not good. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of debt. Ah, there they go. Nice. Eastern. Southern Macedonia. Well, I guess they wipe you out. Uh, South Africa, you want an alliance? Well, I guess we are technically allied, or you're my sphere, so I might as well. And you're technically not a European puppet, so why not? Darn it, I got out of the war too early. Ah, terrible. Honduras spheres, we are coming. They're my sphere, though. Oh, arms is signed. Oh, yeah, between us, us and them. Oh, is that really worth it between us? I mean, Russia, Austria-Hungary, France, Belgium's not that strong against the might of Germany. I do want their colonies, but really, hmm. That would be good for us to go to a war with the Ottoman Empire, too, so. However, if they get into a war, and they do lose... I don't want to ship over soldiers up here. I really don't. I do want Algeria as well. Because once the Germans start marching, it's going to be a furious march. Would you like an alliance? Oh, nope. You know what? I'll take both. What? No, you rejected us. Ah! How dare you? Well, this might be a bad idea. You know what? Oh, this is such a bad idea. Incident in Cuba? No incidents. What are you talking about? Now, as you can see, I'm not going to go ahead... Well, maybe I will go ahead and start trying to save scum for other stuff here. You know what? Let's grab some steel steamers. we got to at least get some cruisers, at the very least. Oh, look at this. Robert Torrens, a British army officer. Oh, fascist soup kitchens. Let's see. The decline of the West and the lost generation. Okay. And then steamer automatic construction plants. Cool. So, fascist soup kitchens. The fascist party has been organizing soup kitchens for the unemployed in one of our states, setting the need to protect and preserve the pure-born, particular industrial workers from the ravages of international capitalism. Several other parties, along with the lead liberal and daily conservative dailies, have expressed sharp criticism of the party's work, claiming that in it, in the end, amongst a little less in bribery and buying the uh, of voter support, the fascists themselves do not seem overly concerned about these accusations. It's not illegal, so therefore it's not a government concern. Ooh, that does give you a little bit more population growth. It's just a ruse built support for the party and this nonsense. I like that pop growth. Besides, fascist popularity. Oh, Austria Hungary. You're already allied with them. So it's France, Austria Hungary, Russia versus Germany and whoever. It doesn't seem really balanced and it might it would probably come back and bite us in the butt, but. Meh. Come on, please lose your colonies. Please, 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 please. Yeah, we need more. We need just. You know what? We're going to make two armies here at the same time. Uh, let's make another one. One. Two. Three, four. And Hussard. Get another engineer. And one more. Boom. There you go. I do just want to lower infamy as well, but... Peru. Oh, look at that. More defense. Great. Flexible firepower. Oh, we still have no... Oh, look. They still have... Oh, they're fascists down there now. They have 11 score. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad to take them out. And actually, what, that would be good to get their pastaza as well. Just because we could link up to our actual Amazonas. And that would actually give us a great connection down here. Jesus Christ, guys. Can you just... I don't know why these guys don't take out, like, our allies or puppets rebels. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I th Oh, they're communists. I don't think anyone's going to help them, so... Crash tape. God, I hope we don't get found out. Oh, also, all population. It's only 104 million. Only 104 million, that's all. Let's see, how are we doing? Not bad, not bad. Oh, look, they've got... Oh, they're still... They're still communist, right? Yeah. 
Well, full citizenship's not bad. I like that one. And Italy, I think you still have secondary power. Yep, they're still secondary power. They're eighth. Oh, they're really eighth in the world. Actually, uh, Argentina, Bolivia. 837. They're going to fall. How about Japan? What is Japan up to? They're choking at Japan. Labor unions. Ooh. A few unions that we could spare for. Um, population goes down. Incident in Uruguay? There's been no incident in Uruguay. What are you talking about? Fake news. Absolute fake news. Hey, even more defense. Synchronized heavy support. Nice. Yes, just keep stacking that heavy defense. Please, please, please. Mm, Argentina actually really likes this. Well, that's probably because... Oh, they're liberals now. They were socialists earlier. We've been killing all the rebels off. And Bolivia's socialists now, too. Hmm. Go figure. What do we have? Workers' unions, huh? Well, well, you know, whatever. Let's run its own course. They lose more militancy. They get more consciousness, but whatever. More production, please. Thank you very much. Thumbs up for me. Steel seamers. Very nice. Excellente. New store in Abalchi. Very cool. How's it, how's it going? A third of the way there? Come on, how much more money do I have to spend on the Panama Canal? We spent so much on it, though. That was a lot of money. Are there any other... other dis oh, what is this? End of the Arab Revolt. We had the Arab Revolt? Oh, look at that. The general insurgency of the Tukular's Arab population has been brought to an end. For the moment, peace is restored, and the momentum of the Arab resistance dissolved. Any pops where the, there are Arabs? Okay, they get more consciousness, but... Yeah, we did lose, I think... Bayoudin is an accepted culture for some reason, which I don't like. Which kind of sucks. But it is what it is, you know. Everyone, please remain calm. Let's stay civil. Please don't go to war with everyone. Actually, I'm going to keep this as a 60... God dang it. Uh, I'll see you just in a little bit once the autosave is done. Here we go. See you just a little bit. All right, everyone, and here we are. The construction of the Panama Canal is finally finished. The canal cut through mountains and had to continually be widened, and the mountain's slopes reduced to minimize landslides into the canal. Steam shovels have been invented, but were still not enough. Other mechanical and electrical electrical equipment were limited in its capabilities, and steel equipment rusted rapidly in the tropical climate. Several health risks pose a threat to workers in the mosquito-filled Panamanian jungle, primarily malaria and yellow fever, and it claimed thousands of lives. Conditions were downplayed in Tukular Empire to avoid recruitment problems, but the high mortality rate made it difficult to maintain an experienced workforce. Finally, on the in 1912, the Panama Canal was finished and opened to business. This will surely help our power projection. We build the canal, we get <clears throat> precious goods in Balboa, where the canal is located. We get almost 81 prestige. Beautiful. Finally, we can stop spending money on that garbage. And we do have a war goal, finally, against Peru. Now, if you see Bolivia here, they're no longer under republic because at this point, they rebelled. They're now communist. And I'm kind of tired of dealing with the communist gosh darn dudes down here, so... I just let them go, and we actually got one less infamy from doing that, too. So I'm going to go back to war with them and kill them and make sure that they know their place. Uh, regardless. Ooh, Ecuador. Did you lose something here? Uh, we, we took our air territory here, but... Mm, hmm. No thinking about it eventually as well. Regardless, we got to go to war. They've only won a score, and they're all already at war with other people, too. So I just want Pastaza. Even though the other places might be better for prestige or just, you know, resources. It doesn't matter to me at this point. I don't really care, to be honest with you. I just want to connect down here, and then I will take out Bolivia. I will take them out, because they're pieces of garbage. They're allied with... Per okay, they're allied with... We've got canal, so we get more... Less import costs, more prestige, and more tariff efficiency. Nice. Finally. Actually makes a little bit of money. Finally. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, Serbs. Wow, that's a lot of fascist support. Wow. Oh, they're currently... Communists, so I guess that makes sense. And actually, Montenegro went fascist. That's a lot of fascism. Are we still losing money? Yes, we are. We're still losing money something. Ah, uh, we're still losing money. I'm not really sure why. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. And, of course, we still have rebels in French parts of Africa, which is good. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Ooh, 57. Are we missing one guy? And also, we're building up a couple cruisers here. So, I'm trying to beeline technology. So, that's good. Uh, Two-thirds of our population can read, finally. Not bad, in my opinion. Let's see. So we don't have to waste time doing stuff here and increasing relations. Oh my... Argentina. Ah. I mean, they like us. They better like us because we're losing our guys to them, but, you know, whatever. Just ally with these guys. Oh, and they're socialists. Germany is still... Actually, what is the Christian Arbeiter Partei? Pro-military, okay. They're pro-military. 
UK, it's kind of hanging out. The number one in the world in terms of pretty much everything. Almost everything. Chartist rallies. Let them hold their little rallies, maybe. Voted wealth, that's fine. I don't really care. Happy 1913, though, everyone. Nice. We're gonna, I'm going to go straight for... I'm going to max out armies back as fast as we can now at this point, just because... Oh, we got commies. Oh, that's not good. Uh, well, that's not ideal. You guys come through here. No, 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 no. Go through there. Avoid the commies. Go down there, and you're going to help take them out. There you go. That's a lot of commies, not going to lie. That is a lot of guys. But, we'll do okay, probably. There you go. Kill them all. This is a good way to lower infamy, right? Or, uh, militancy, I should say. Militancy and stuff like that. Oh, so even though we finished the canal, it doesn't mean we're done paying off the debt, though. We have colonial unrest. If you like to read about this, go right ahead. I'm not going to lose prestige. No, 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 no. you got another thing coming if you think we're done with that. Oof. I just want to make a little bit of money, man. Was well, the canal worth it? Maybe. Actually, we should probably increase tariffs even more, because we do have more tariff efficiency, so... There we go. We got one of these areas taken out. Very good. There's a bank of Germany. That's still not good. You know what? Even more... We need more money. I want to pay this off as fast as possible. I'm sorry to the populace, but... That's a necessary evil. Hello. Look at that. $1,700? Or pounds, I should say. Oh, you even have some fascists up here, too. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and just start making more divisions. Uh, let's see. Ooh, over here we got quite a few guys here. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I can make it. Uh, well, I can make it another sixty thousand stack. That wouldn't be bad. We can just put the armies in half too. That makes it easier. Uh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Get another horse. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Another sixty k stack. That's very good. Cost us more money, but hey, that's okay. Hopefully, we got some more cruisers as well. <clears throat> Not bad. Oh, rebels and you know, at this point, I don't know. Argentina just really isn't really worth it. It just, like I said before, it's just better to take them out. Just annex their land. If they have rebels, you know how to deal with rebels. You know, give them the one-two buckle my shoe. Oh crap! What is going on here? What's going on? Oh, they're fighting Italy. Italy's fighting. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, that's fine. Now, if someone intervenes in this war, like Germany, or the UK, or the Ottoman Empire, that'll make it into a great war. They were fifth in the world for a military score, though. Oh, all this more defense. Please don't turn into a great war. Yeah, I'm not ready for a great war. I barely have <laughs> three cruisers. Oh, look at that. Nice. Pretty good. Lower this a little bit more, because we got to pay off some more debts. Because now, I'm, I'm focused on just paying off all this god-awful debt. You guys go right... Actually, you go up there. We need to boost you guys up. A three one, yeah. You need art. You you have no artillery. Holy crap! Not really. You store in Marrakesh. Awesome. Hmm. I mean, technically we are still technically at war, yeah. But with France and the Austro-Hungarians here, I'm not too worried about this. So, sure, we might not get a lot of prestige, but. Whatever. Uh oh, the French have a few rebels, huh? Jacobins, huh? What are Jacobins? I don't know what Jacobins are. Jacobins. Obviously, there's some type of a rebel group, but I'm not really sure what they are. We make no distinction of class. Less than 15 infamy. We're doing a lot better here. Also, keep an eye on this. Uh, oh, that's 85%. Ooh. I mean, no one else is going to be done yet. I just want to make sure that we have enough if bureaucracy to help administrate the area now. We don't want too much bureaucracy, but, yeah, just enough, you know. Sabotage. I think we did fat cats last time. You mean fire someone? Might as well. Oh, my goodness. Holy crap, Renos. That's not good. Norway, are you a great power? What's going on in Norway? God dang, socialists. Look at all this crap. Nope. You know what? At this point, I don't want to deal with Argentina too much more. I'll probably just release them. 
If they, if they really just rebel, then I'll just release them. It doesn't matter to me at this point. <sighs> Socialists, come on, man. Oh, yeah, we're so conservative, but that's just because of elections. I'm not even, like, forcing us to become conservative at all. It's literally because the people keep voting for it. That's my problem with probably... Enemy of my enemy. Problem with my... My biggest problem with Victoria 2 is all, like, the rebels that you can spawn. Especially the socialists. Like, whenever I play as America, we had so many socialists that I put socialists. Socialists. As well, I think it was as well as Brazil, so... But the enemy of my enemy. <clears throat> now that we're in a state of total war... The idea has risen that Trickler Empire should approach Italy's enemies to see if there's those who join our side against them. This may mean an own holy alliance with, between those who have never fought at our side otherwise. But as the old saying goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Sometimes. If we were to win this war against Italy, we may have to take that to heart. Do it? Ooh, the shadow of war? Or we don't need more allies? Ooh, no, I think we're okay. I mean, we're just fighting Italy, so it's not a great war. Third war of the Pacific. Good luck with that. Ooh. First, Italy to oh, the empire. Oh my goodness, we're gonna kill Italy before they even did anything. I'll oh, do it anyways. Sweden has agreed. W why do they hate each other? Sweden and what? Oh crap! What is going on? Oh, is that anarchist Spain? Wait, who's? Um. Okay. Why not? New patents. Breakthrough. Victory. Nice. A lot of rebels. <sighs> Sympathy strikes. More socialists. Uh, I don't want any more socialists. I want as little socialists as possible. Wars upon us. Two empires in a state of... Oh. With total war with one of the great powers in a modern age where warfare has the capability of killing millions, the very future of our nation could be at stake. The call has gone out to the Tukular people. Put aside your petty differences, your day-to-day -day lives, and your personal ambitions. The Tukular Empire must pull together in this our hour of need. Oh, that's not good. That is... Why are we in a state of total war? It's only against Italy. It's not a great war. What the heck? Game. What's wrong with you? Oh, we're... At... Hold on. Do we become allies with Italy just because we don't like... Italy? What? Oh, we're fighting Greece. Why are we fighting the Greeks? I mean, that's fine with me. I'll fight the Greeks any day, I guess. But... Um... What is going on? Italy doesn't even have any, like, colonies. As far as I know. What is going on? Usually, like, the total war thing only happens when you're in a great war. And we're not... This I wouldn't call this a great war. But hey, we got reforms. Oh, uh, what do people want? I'll just give it, what, a trinket pensions? Ugh, trinket pensions? Come on, man. You don't need trinket pensions. Fine, I'll give it to you anyways. But, spending? Uh, it's only 19. That's fine. If it's only 19, that's not bad. It's probably going to balloon up, though. Of course not. Any other rebels around here? I did tell these guys to just kill anyone on sight, so... Anything over here? No? Okay, that's good. Uh, I could use another infantry, though. Mayan infantry, huh? A lot of Mayans. A lot of Central Americans. Some other influence from... Africa. Which is fine with me, which I actually really, really want. But still. Yeah, at this point... You know what? They're, they're not worth it. We lose too many men to these guys. Do I have another army down here? I have two, I see, but... Is that it? Oh, you're over here. Why are you over there? Come on back home. So weird. This has turned into a very weird er era, I guess, for us. Of course not. Infiltration is good, though. Yes, please. Rams, John Ramsey McCulloch. Loan interest goes down. Oh, that's good. Oh, we got that. Oh, wait, peace out. Did we get anything? Oh, of course, they, they probably got stuff, too. Demand reparations, dismantle the constructions of Venezia. Okay, so that's not too bad. Get, hey, create a street down here. Yeah, nice. Why not? Excellente. Africans, farms, and mines. Not. Why not? Thank you very much. Infiltration. I mean, in that entire war, we were just focused on putting down rubbles instead of anything else. So, yeah. Still got a lot of debt to the Germans. Hey, there we go. Nice. Go and grab this one. 
I'm just gonna go and grab whatever we can for military stuff. Mayday Parade. The Red Band is floated before the wind, and people of all ages come out to watch. As socialists, commies, union members, and workers of all ages come together in protest march of all across the country, commemorating the deaths of the several demonstrators at the Chicago Haymay Market Massacre in 1886. What an annually recurring celebration in almost every city in the Tugler Empire. This year's incar incarnation has been particularly successful in one of our states, where an upsurge in socialist militancy and consciousness can be expected. Didn't we just get rid of these guys? Hmm. Yeah, socialist. I don't know why, like, yeah, part of the world will be socialist, but, like, still, like, come on. Why, why, why are we, like, over socialist? Ooh, eight, two, one. Hmm. We're still making more. We're supposed to be making more tensions in Congo. No, 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 no. No tensions here. The war's over. Long live the Tukula Empire. We gain war exhaustion. 10% more pa pacifism. Uh. I don't know why that even fired. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, the ally to the Greeks and have the Greeks. Oh! So, you're telling me, they were secondary power before they began, and now, after they lost the war, forced to pay reparations, and dismantle, dismantle, dismantle constructions in Venice, that they became a great power. Some things are just not adding up here. Trouble in Argentina. I mean, we saw that earlier. I don't, I don't really want to be bothered with them anymore, so, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, just keep our armies over here. It's fine with me. Don't really care. At this point, I'm going to let Argentina go. Congress of Berlin stabilized the Balkans. If you'd like to read about that, go right ahead. The Russian delegates were pleased. Oh my goodness. That's 1914 too. Bosnia Herzegovina. Oh, I want to go to war as fast as possible, but... Uh, no, I'm good. Romania's looking pretty nice. Bulgaria's not look too, looking too bad. I will... Mm. Serbs would be actually really good probably to get under us too. Alba There's a lot of Albanians here. Oof. Either the Serbs. Well, we are allied with these guys, so we probably don't want the Serbs. Maybe Bulgaria? We're good with these guys. Well, we're mostly good with these guys. Let's see. Russian Empire. Uh, have more militancy. There you go. Wow, a lot of flash potential stuff. Rebellion in Argentina. Here we go. The Argentinian government has been overthrown, and the rebel government has declared themselves free from the particular rule. Many are calling for a restoration of order, while others are saying that Argentina is too much. If they want to be free, let them go. You know what? I don't want to do this. I don't want them anymore. They're much more... They're not worth it. I'll be honest. They're just really not worth it. Alright, so who's Russia at war with now? Russia, you are at war with... Russian liberation of Romania and Bessarabia. Let me get through another month first, so we can lower our infamy first, and then I'll join your stupid little petty war. Whatever. Cool. And you know what? I'm just going to let time go on in the background just a little bit more. Uh, just so that we can kind of speed up the campaign just a little bit more. And see you just a little bit. All right, everyone. Here we are. It's now 1918, July 18th. So, because the war with Italy turned out to be like a total war or whatever, we could not go to war until like 1917. Um, so, it is what it is. Regards, I have got a war justification, though. Or, we have one very soon against the country of Egypt to make them a puppet, so that'll be very good to have under us and Argentina, no thank you, particular schools and for us a curricular, curricula I should really say, yes please raise up taxes a little bit higher, a little bit a little bit higher tariffs, that's all, just a little bit higher tariffs, that's all just a little bit more, and we'll go make them a puppet now, Ottoman Empire wants us under them, but we've got ideas for these guys so I'm going to say no again go ahead and march right in, because these guys are communists, which might just turn out to be another Argentina force, but hey, whatever Hopefully this does not happen. But we'll see what happens. Oopsie. Is after this? Oh, hello, Germany. Oh, uh, maybe they they are socialists right now. They are socialists, so yeah, they're anti-military. They're fourth in the world in terms of military. Even the Russians are bigger at this point. I'm probably gonna have to say no. They're all with France now. We're good. So we'll end this episode by taking out the Egyptians. And then maybe end up going to war with the Ottomans in the next one. Even though they're in our sphere. Policy stands. Ooh, can I actually go to war with you guys? Alright, move from sphere. That's fine. Very good, very good. Actually, you guys come here. They take some land, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter t 
two. Uh, at first, I saw the red UK banner. I'm like, oh my goodness. We're allied, aren't we? Yeah, look, we're allied with the UK again, so. And they're number one in the world. You know what? We might be able to do, do it so that uh, we can force people to attack us, maybe. No? Ooh, nice. We've got some more research done. Nothing really has changed too much. I've got culture stuff done, commerce, army. We've got all the armies, including aeronautics. So that's actually really good. Uh, I'm not really sure how to use airplanes, to be honest with you, at the time of this recording. Airplanes, does that just replace cavalry? Like, instead of one hussar, you get, like, one plane or something? So, I'm not really sure. Maybe? That's less than 5,000 research points. That's not bad. Mm, we don't want to get involved with that stuff. Make sure we keep our armies pretty close together, though. That'd be important. There we go. If they take out, take out some stuff, that's fine, whatever. It shouldn't be too bad to kill off the Egyptians. I mean, they're they're a little strong. Don't get me wrong, they're 55 military score. But, hey, it shouldn't be too bad. Hey, look at that. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Exactly. Excuse me, guys. Please head up there. I mean, they're still winning regardless, so that's really good, actually. And they have been defeated right up here. Good. Head up there. Nice. Not bad, not bad. Taking quite a few losses, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, so you come over here, but really you come down there, and then really you. I think it was you. Yeah, up there. They got the little tile, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And I'll get attacked again. Wow, look at that money. Yeah, finally we got out of that debt. I mean, it's been like a few years since we've seen each other, but I'm going to keep at least a good amount of money under us. Just because you never know what could happen. Also, Brazil, I guess, went communist. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm, I don't want to go to war with them. You guys, I'll I do my spear as well. You, uh, yeah, I'll take them out maybe eventually. Maybe. I mean, my, my main goal right now for the rest of this campaign is to get as much of Portugal? European influence out of Africa. So, which means I'll probably have to take out Portugal as well, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, reforms. Ooh, I, I'm going to keep going to go with. Wealth, just because, oh, that's so much more immigrant attraction, though, so much more. But the voters' ideologies are not very good right now. Oof. They are quite split amongst everyone. Two armies, there you go. You start. I dare? Cool. Cotton gins, cool. More cotton production. Yeah, we definitely need a resource of money. A stockpile of money, I should really say. Uh, for the future because whenever we get into a great war, it's not gonna be good. Oh, we're butchering them Beautiful and we've got more admin efficiency. Let's grab some of this. Thank you Okay, so how much more do we need for you guys? We've killed off quite a few guys already, so I haven't done yet. I'm probably gonna strip the capital after this uh, There you go Give you guys a bunch of. Also, we're third in prestige now because we hosted like the Olympic Games. We've actually cored a lot of our territory as well, which is really, really good. Uh, yeah, just a lot of coring. A lot of actually, we got like the chemistry one where it gives you more prestige. No Brazil, uh, several times. So it's actually really nice getting more prestige that way. I thought we were allied with the Russians. Yeah, I will ally with you because you are technically second base in the world. So that's pretty good. The second part, secondary power. Also. Um. I oh, have one army score left. Sweden's a great power. Sweden. Of all people. Swedes. But yeah, in the next episode, we will definitely be going to war with uh, a great power or whatever. Yeah, definitely. But at least... Oh, they're allied with the Germans. Actually, that's totally fine with me. Totally fine. We'll get... The... Egyptians as a puppet. First, though. And then go to war with the Ottomans and probably dismantle Germany. Maybe that way. We have the capital. Yes, we do. I'm sieging down more important parts of the country first. There they are. Kill them off. There you go. We have first no. Sweden. We're still allied with those guys. We're still... France. I don't really want to ally the Swedes. But they're allied with the Brits, so why not? Hello. Well, that's not good. Oh, we're still winning here, even regardless. There we go. Boom. 
Cool. So we're going to begin just flying on these guys. And what can we do for these guys? Can I dismantle Empire? No. Require place and send dismantle fortification. Release puppet. Uh, actually, before we, you know, conclude for the day. Also, the Balkan thing happened where Romania's here. Serbia did exist, but the Austro-Hungarians took them out. We have fascist Montenegro, as you saw. No. Yeah, they're still fascists. They're still fascists down there. Albania's in uh, the, as a satellite of the Ottoman Empire. Honestly, not too much else has happened. Let's see. Can we just, just straight go to war with Germany? No, we have two high relations. Spain. Can I dismantle Spain? They're commies. You can dismantle the Spanish nation. That would be kind of wild. But I do want to get rid of Ottoman influence here first. I think that would be for best. So, And they're still allied with the Germans. Hmm. We do have 11 infamy, so that's not too bad. I mean, obviously it's 1919. It's been some time since oh, we've seen each other last. Oh, do we let maybe a day go on? Can we get anything else besides that stuff? And this stuff is all nice, but release puppet? That's not bad. But you got to think about the... Um, what do you call it? Truce time. Truce time. Peace deal time. I do want to go to war with them. I do want to kill off the Germans. So, And really, I want this territory over here. It's not worth pretty much anything. Tripolitania would be really nice to get, though. So we have direct access into the Mediterranean. So, And they do have oil. So, Tripolitania. Ooh, actually, is that a... That is a colonial, colonial state. Cool. Cool, but we'll end today's episode there. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will begin going to war and probably causing uh, a few million deaths. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.